Hello everybody, we are back with California or with Calithon 2018 here, coming from the Bebo Center. Uh, we are up next with Star Fox 64 with Lilat. We're going to be doing Red Line All Medals, if I'm understanding this correctly. Yes. Lilat, would you like to, uh, to introduce yourself a little bit about Star Fox 64? And uh, if your couch would like to introduce themselves as well, I'm sure everybody would love to hear from them. Perfect. So I'm Lilat R. Uh, Calithon has a bunch of fantastic games, and for some reason Star Fox 64 is in there. I don't know why. Uh, with me, I have... Oh, I don't even deserve to be the first one. Okay. I'm Bash Prime. I don't run this game. I'm Kirby Master. I don't run this game either. And this is I Got Bored. And, yeah, I don't think he I'm runs... I'm actually Gedrith. Hi. I, I don't think he runs this game he either. He says he's Gedrith, but I question that. Like well, we'll see in two runs when Gedrith <laughs> shows up to do Mega Man CX-7. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it might be Kirby Master. I don't yeah. know. I'll be doing the um, tech for that, so yeah. I'll confirm that myself. <laughs> So we're going to be playing uh, All Metals Redline. Uh, we're going to be doing this on expert mode. Uh, it's basically a Redline run under 100% conditions. Uh, it's just kind of to make the run a little bit more concise. Uh, so I'm going to count you down. Uh, three, two, one, go. So, Gedrith, do you want to explain this entire run right now? OK, so we're going to go through every level. And there's a certain score point that he has to get to get a medal. And he has to kill everything pretty quickly to get more medals. And, uh, yeah, medals. Huh. That was actually a lot better than I thought. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see Lilat doing uh, sort of half boosts here. Uh, it's apparently for the fastest way for the R-Wing to, uh, to go fast, I guess. I, I yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so you want to do uh, 17 frame boosts. So every single 1.2 seconds, we're doing a frame-perfect input, making this the god speed run among all god speed runs. Um, so Redline All Medals requires us to play through the hardest stages in the game. Uh, on the hardest difficulty of the game to get the score medals, which are the only collectible that you can actually pick up in the game. Uh, so we're not going to be going for 100% score or anything like that. Uh, and it's going to be, I don't know, this is going to be a fun time, or it's going to be a dumpster fire. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this category is very hard, uh, and there's a lot of risk of soft locking on bosses and uh, dying, so we're just not going to do that, and we're just going to ignore that risk. Um, so in order to get a score medal, we have to reach a certain score threshold in every stage. Uh, most of them are going to be 150. Uh, the first three are going to be 150 uh, points in each stage. And on top of that, we have to keep all of our wingmates alive. Uh, the reason we're playing on expert mode is because that gives us a nice little great screen, which we won't unfortunately have time to show because the credits for this game are absurdly long. Um, and Great. Uh, the added difficulty of expert mode makes us uh, very susceptible to losing our wings. Uh, if I run into any solid object in the game, uh, we lose our wings, which means we lose our laser upgrades, which also means that we lose uh, the ability to fly straight and fast. Um, so, yeah. Uh, right here, we went through all those seven arches and saved Falco in order to go to the red line route. Uh, the red line route basically requires us to go through uh, and make, do, do things, basically, to go to the next stage, uh, as opposed to the blue line route, which is basically just the default route. Um, right here, we're coming up on the Corneria boss. Uh, Corneria is a very unique stage in that it has two bosses. Um, and I think it's the only stage in the game that actually has two bosses, so yeah. Um, this boss here, there's a very, very important strat that I have to nail immediately. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Come on. Swag hey. loop over the boss. Oh. Uh. Didn't lose your wings. Let's yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah, if uh, that's like, that's actually surprisingly precise. And uh, yeah, if I hit him, I lose my wings. So you save states to practice that one somersault. Exactly. So this is attack carrier. Uh, he opens hatches. You shoot the hatches. Uh, I realized this morning that every single boss strat in this run is just mash as fast as you can, uh, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna kill him very quickly here, and he's dead. If you notice the oh, sorry. Uh, there's a very important strat here I have to nail as well. Vomit cam. Hey, hey we did it. And there's another important thing. It seems to be RNG uh, in this cutscene that can happen. Uh, let's see if I got it. I think I did. And we despawned the ocean. <laughs> let's go. There we go. Uh, this game tends to deload things in cutscenes, and we actually managed to skew the camera down by A, killing the boss fast, and B, barrel rolling at the right time. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's pretty much it for Corneria. That's probably one of the harder stages in the run. Uh, a lot of the other stages, you're, you're basically going to see, see a very similar gameplay style of uh, half boosting, 
Uh, we're going to be going in and out of first person to reduce lag as much as possible, killing only certain enemies to reduce lag as much as possible as well. And we're going to be uh, doing mostly charge shots in order to get points. Uh, you probably noticed during that stage that uh, we got a bunch of like hit plus twos, hit plus threes, stuff like that. That's really important. Uh, we want to be able to do charge shots as much as possible uh, instead of just shooting enemies, even though it's a lot easier to just shoot the enemies. Uh, I'll do that sometimes, but uh, it won't be all the time. But getting uh, that hit plus two or hit plus three by hitting enemies with splash damage on the charge shots is very, very crucial to finish this run. I don't think it would be possible without doing any charge shots. As in, a, oh, sorry. Uh, in addition, with charge shots, there's uh, three different types. We can do uh, just a locked on charge shot. We can do a continuous charge shot where basically, like what I did right there, uh, we just let go of A and tap A again uh, very quickly. Uh, and there's there's a few frame window where you can do that without locking on to any enemies. That's a very important line of dialogue, by the way. I, I kind of like that. Um, and there's also an unlock charge shot where you're holding Z and R to uh, unlock your charge shot from enemies and make sure that you don't lock onto them, like what I'm doing right here. Uh, it's impossible to tell the difference between continuous charge shots and unlock charge shots unless you know exactly what you're looking for, so uh, I won't point it out every time or anything, don't worry. Also, I'm wearing sunglasses because uh, the, the one aesthetic difference between expert mode and regular mode is that Fox is wearing sunglasses, so I figured, yeah, why not? I left my hotel, sorry. Oh, how I'm could not, you? I'm, not, I'm I did, prime in normal mode. You had I one did, job! Well, so don't, don't feel bad. Oh, you guys, come on. Hey, mine are prescription, so... Fair. Yeah. Can Can't really wear those. my eyes and not watch the run? Okay, so this stage, we need That's 150 safe, points. Right? But the boss will actually give us 19, uh, so we don't really have to worry about getting that many points. Uh, I'm going to save a bomb here just by shooting these enemies instead of what I would normally do, which would be bombing them. Um, you can get probably about 20 points extra there by shooting a bomb, but I feel pretty comfortable with where my score is right now. Um, as I said, the boss gives us 19, so we only actually need 131 in order to reach the score requirement for this level. Uh, I would argue this is probably the easiest level in the run. Um, second only the second last one which is easy but the boss is hard and that's kind of the same case with this one um if we have a donation now would be a very good time fantastic we actually have a pair of donations both of them from the near endless pockets of someone called anonymous oh wow they were a huge donator last year as well but wow. we have uh, anonymous with ten dollars and we have anonymous with a twenty dollar donation as well saying random dono from europe Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. Much appreciated. Uh, by the way, there is a donation incentive uh, that is probably going to be cut off at the end of the run called Kill Slippy. Uh, that guy that's on the screen right there that's really annoying. I'm wearing my Kill Slippy shirt right now, by the way. Uh, so don't make him sad. Just to give you a little bit of a heads up on the donation incentives, we have met the incentive for Get All Medals in Star Fox 64. Mm -hmm. at, uh, just pass that up. Uh, as far as Kill Slippy and Star Fox 64, we still got some work. A little bit of ground to make up there. We're at 30 out of $100. Oh, come on, guys. You can do it. That's easy. 70 bucks. You guys want it to happen. Seriously. Yeah, you yeah, definitely want to see Slippy it. die. If you made all medals happen, you can certainly make Kill Slippy happen. It's absolutely worth it. Okay, so this boss strat, we throw a bomb and just kind of hope, and he's dead. Hey, you said the line, too. Let's <laughs> I, go. I actually got that quick kill. That was the thing I was the most worried about. Because if that boss gets away... Oh man, that can go south really fast. Uh, that's the reason why my estimate's as high as it is, so yeah. Um, coming up is Aquas. There's really nothing noteworthy Fantastic about Aquas. Fantastic level. It's, yeah, it's, it's so, so well designed. It's so fun. It's beautiful. It's so fast. Yeah. I love it so much. Oh. The boss fight is just great design. Yeah. Wait. Top notch. Hold on, what's that Top cartridge notch. in your N64? That's NFL QB Club 2001. Yeah. Yes, that would be NFL QB Club 2001. This is The best game ever this made. This is football in space. Yep. Yeah, I swapped out the carts for Star Fox 64. Um, I also have with me uh, Jeremy McGrath's Supercross 2000 um, and a Star Fox 64 cart that I would not have actually been able to run on because it's the only one I have that's not that doesn't have expert mode unlocked. So ironically, the one Star Fox cart I have I can't use for a Star Fox run. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so Aquas, uh, something you'll notice right off the bat is that we're actually using a different vehicle. So I mentioned before that uh, there's like the half boosting thing. Um, we're not doing that in this. Uh, I just 
Look at that frame rate. Hold C left yeah, the just, entire level. Isn't this great? Yeah, one thing I was going to mention too, um, Lilat's been constantly playing this game in the claw grip on the Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah, it's a little awkward. I cannot imagine the amount of dexterity you need to be able to constantly press both C left and A to shoot. Yeah, uh, you definitely need to claw grip the controller. So usually what I'll have is I'll have like my index finger on, oh, that was painful, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll have my uh, index finger on A and uh, my my uh, middle finger on C left, and then I'll have like my ring finger alternating between C up and R. So like just grab an N64 controller and try and do that. And it's just like, it's so awkward. You pretty much need to do that grip to run this game. Uh, because it's pretty impossible, yeah, to be able to mash A while holding C left. Um, so, yeah. I hope uh, everybody in chat is enjoying the brilliant five frames per second of this level. Yeah. Shout yeah, out it's to, just beautiful. Shoutouts to Ocarina of Time, pal. <laughs> <laughs> wow, shots fired. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm so, so sorry, OOT community. I can't speak for this guy in the couch. I think was when he had to watch the escape cut, the castle collapse cut scene <laughs> 16 frames a second. Shoutouts to uh, all N64 games, basically four floor-looking simulators. Yeah, uh, the only N64 games I run are this, Banjo-Tooie, and DK64, which are basically the three worst games for frame rate on the console. Oh, that was a pillar. Uh, I just have you seen into. the Castlevania 64 game? Uh, have you game seen Banjo-Tooie? Like, yeah. Banjo-Tooie is, is That's a masterpiece. I don't know how they managed that. As much as the N64 is better than the Xbox 360 version, I'm not going to lie, playing that game in 30 frames per second constantly is just so much better. We got a pretty good uh, solution inside of the chat. Uh, just grow another arm. Oh, that's, oh. that's you know what, I did that last week, but it fell off. Yo, imagine... Yeah, like, radiation can only go so far. Yes. Also, uh, just want to plug our sponsor here. Uh, do you have anything to say about them? Um, for Direct Relief, by chance? We actually have a large amount of things about Direct Relief. Uh, Direct Relief is a charity that helps people in need because of poverty, disasters, or any sort of emergency situation by quickly delivering essential medical resources. Uh, they work with over 80 countries and all 50 states of America. Uh, they're rated with a perfect 100 on Charity Navigator, uh, and they are an organization that evaluates charitable organizations, and they were actually the only one to be ranked number one. Or they were the only one ranked number one. Wow. Uh, they were the only one with a 100 on there for 2016. Wow. Um, That's impressive. Sorry, I kind of put you on the spot there on that. I just realized. My bad. No, it's good. I'm, I, I just kind of woke up, so idiot-proofing myself is amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Bash Prime almost missed this run because I he did. was sleeping. You had to come back to the hotel and wake me up yeah. a half hour beforehand. I got a bad ah, it's all good. You made it. It's all good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's there's very little interesting happening right now. We're basically just and it's going through this hallway, and this is hallway simulator I for this level. It's really bad. I feel like this level would be a lot more intense if the frame rate was, that, was actually correct. Well, the frame rate in this level is actually so bad that uh, after... You probably saw in the last two stages, there's this result screen, and it point it ticks up your point counter. Um, that actually lags in this stage. Uh, so you want to get uh, an exact number of points, so you end up with like a zero at the end of your points counter. However, I wasn't really paying attention, so I forgot to do that. I, I don't really care that much. At least much you anyways. got the medal, so. I, I did get perfect boosting in this stage, by the way. Uh, you know you get perfect boosting if your boost meter is at its like lowest point when you reach the boss and stop. I don't know if they designed it that way on purpose or what, but it's kind of cool. So, everybody in chat might have noticed by now, but Lilat's doing specific like movement and doing and going to first person a lot in this game and during this run. That's really just lag reduction strats. There'll be some other things that'll pop up later on, but like you gotta do what you can to to minimize the lag. Yeah, the, yeah. Blue, the blue marine doesn't have a first person mode. I, I yeah, that's why. No, you, it doesn't. That's yeah. why you saw him at the beginning going to the far, far to the left. Yeah. This the, bus is horrible. The one horrible saving base of the stage is that you don't have any wings to lose, so you won't ever, unless you die, you won't ever lose your uh, laser upgrade. And you yeah, get infinite bombs. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that too. Um, so the thing that I'm doing here is we're trying to uh, basically kill this boss, and he's shooting these pearls everywhere. If I miss any of these shot cycles, it can go really bad. I missed the very last one, which is probably the best one to miss because it doesn't miss, mess up the cycles. He shoots those pearls on specific.
specific time intervals based on when you enter the boss fight. So yeah, uh, that was a pretty good boss fight. That was another one that I was a little bit worried about because again, that can go really south really fast. As uneventful as that was, I feel like that's what you want in Aquas too. Yeah, definitely. You you want an uneventful Aquas. You have like no iframes at all when you get hit by stuff. That was also the stage that I was the most worried about dying on. Uh, you. Everything in Aquas does about a quarter of your health and damage, and a lot of the things are very hard to avoid because you move just so slowly as the Blue Marine. But thankfully, it's done now, and we never have to see this piece of garbage again. We actually have a couple of quick donations to go through. Perfect. Uh, Metal Glen Solid it says, Hi, Laylat. Good Hi, luck and Glenn. kill Slippy, please. Anonymous uh, comes in to give us $70 out of there to Oh, pocket. wow. Yo, nice. And says, just kill Slippy. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Do it to ease everyone's nerves. And good old Car looks like Carvius also donating $70. I like frog legs. Oh, so. wow. Ooh. Thank and you guys so much. Yes. That's awesome. With that, we have met the Kill Slippy in Star Fox hey, 64. That's hey, beautiful. Nice. He gets to die. So I should explain for Kill Slippy. Kill Slippy is actually a separate run. Um, I can't kill Slippy during this run, or else I won't be able to get a score medal in one of the stages, and whatever stage is next, because your wingmates don't respawn for two stages after. Um, Zonus here, uh, the point threshold that we need is actually 250. That seems high, but like there's a lot of stuff that we have to kill no matter what um, that gives us uh, a lot of points, so yeah. Um, we want to make sure we finish this stage with nine bombs, and I'm, you may see me grinding for bombs towards the end of the stage. Uh, I shot a couple safety bombs there just to make sure that I didn't lose my wings. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this level that drops bombs, so I'm going to be picking up as many as I possibly can. So um, one of the medals for this stage, and you're seeing Lilac doing that right now, is you have to destroy all these spotlights. You can't get, if you, you fly too high, you actually get detected by them? Uh, no, it's not if you fly too high, it's just if you fly oh, past fly them, past. yeah. And that so, ruins your chance of uh, going to Sector Z. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which would put us off the route, which if I go past one of them, it means I have to reset the stage. Uh, and you can't, uh, usually dying is faster. However, if I hit the ocean, I just bounce off, so yeah. It's also amazing that they have the ocean the way it is with the constant waves, and it actually doesn't hurt the, the frame rate as bad as you would think. Yeah, it's pretty bad in the later part of the stage, but yeah. I swear they put like 50% of the uh, cartridges computing into this level and this level alone. I think the game's confirmed via the, the Wave Race 64 engine. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty beautiful, um, especially for like a pretty early N64 game. Um, compare this to Mario 64 and then eat your heart out. Is that the phrase? I don't actually know. Kind of. Close enough. I don't know. These these cultural differences. I'm Canadian, so you'll probably hear me saying Sector Z. Feel free to get triggered. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I can't help sorry, it. Sorry, not sorry? Yeah, not really sorry. Uh, so right there, there's a laser upgrade if we need it. Uh, there are actually two laser upgrades, but the first one we have to go so slow to pick up it's not even worth it. Um, and once again, as I mentioned, if I run into any solid object, uh, I lose my wings and I lose my lasers. So you have to pick up actually three laser upgrades to get them back. Uh, one to get back your wings and one and two to get your lasers back up to blue. So yeah, uh, laser upgrades in the red line are generally f pretty few and far between, except for the second to last level in, this, in the game. I almost just ran into that thing there. That's cool. Almost means not though, so that's good. Yeah, that level's so in like intense and full of enemies. It makes this one look like Aquas kind of. Yeah, I, that level is actually pretty easy though. Like yeah, this for, one actually for the score cool. requirement. Um, so right here, I'm gonna try and mitigate lag as much as I can. This section is just like insanely laggy. Um, if I can get a couple of kills, I have a lot of points right now, like more than I normally do. Uh, so I can just kind of go into first person there for a little bit and avoid getting a bunch of points that I would normally have to get. And we're actually good on points now because there's ten required uh, at the end of the stage. Uh, five of which, well, actually four of which you don't even shoot anything for, it just gives them to you because Falco's alive. So yeah, um, another good time for a donation if you have a quick one, by chance. I was going one. to say, we currently have a bit of a uh, discussion happening on whether it's Z versus Z inside oh, of the chat. Oh, there we go. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh man, I can't wait until uh, Mega Man ZX event happens. He's gonna be on the couch for it as well. Yeah. Can we just make that a random bid war? Do we have any representation on the couch to yell back at him that it's ZX happened or? Oh, <laughs> uh, it is going to, it is, it is going to be light light on the couch for yeah. <laughs> yelling at me the whole time. Uh, yeah. So this boss, I can soft lock if I uh, boost into it too fast. Uh, the ball that he's shooting at me right now uh, 
doesn't spawn, and then he just is not vulnerable. But we didn't do that, so that's fine. Uh, this is bombs the movie, the game. Uh, so we just shoot, like, I think it's like six bombs at him, and then shoot him a lot, and then he dies. Uh, this strat right here, uh, I'm holding the brakes and looking up. That resets the boss's iframes, and that's pretty much like the only glitch that we use in this entire run is on this boss. Um, so yeah. Yeah, like Crane normally takes around like three bombs. Yeah, it's, to it's kill, usually and now three it's bombs. Ones. Yeah. And he's dead. So yeah, that was actually a really good fight. This run's been pretty good so far, actually. It yeah. actually really it's has. Been solid. This, dare I say, might be world record pace. Maybe. Oh, well, now it's Jinx. Yeah, it's it's over now. I'm, 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 I'm going to miss the medal on the next level. It's all ogre. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we really got to stop saying world record holder. Just call it what it is. <laughs> world champion. World, <laughs> the best in the world. Yeah, world champion of uh, NFL QB Club 2001. <laughs> Shout -outs Even though to, it's only in the United States. Shoutouts to Patau, who has the world record in red line, by the way. He's a very, very good runner of Star Fox 64. I think he's coming back to running the game soon. So, yeah. With good old uh, Kill Slippy out of the way, I just wanted to update our viewers on a couple of the donation incentives that we have in a couple of Bid Wars. Yeah. Currently, the most active one that we have is going for Kirby's Color, uh, Kirby's Color in Kirby's Air Ride. Right now, Pink is in the lead with $45, but good old Toasted Marshmallow Brown Kirby is at 36 and White taking up the rear with $5. Why would you pick anything other than Toasted Marshmallow? Because pink is amazing. So that's fair. Is it true at any percent you just wait in Sector Z? Yeah, so this stage in red line was the main reason why I wanted to do all medals. Uh, this stage, you basically just wait for like three minutes. And versus what I'm doing now, which is trying to get as many points as I can as fast as I can. You might see that there's like nothing going on here. And uh, yeah, that's kind of by design. Uh, we need 100 points in this level. This is by far the hardest point threshold to reach in the game. Um, because it's just, there's just nothing here. Um, we're gonna go out of our way here to shoot a couple things of space junk that are kind of in these platforms. Um, I do know where most of them are off the top of my head. I don't think I know where all of them are, but they're pretty easy to spot. Uh, they're usually kind of floating inside of these giant things that are kind of around. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we save our wingmates in this level. They take such little damage, it, it's completely irrelevant. All they really do is try and shoot the missiles that are coming up, which uh, we don't want them to take out a missile because that's very bad. Um, we need, as I said, 100 points. Each of the missiles gives 11. And if one of your wingmates takes a missile out, you get zero. So I definitely want to make sure to get uh, at least 78 points by the time that the last set of missiles comes around because then I can go for a very slightly faster strat uh, instead of going for the strat that you would normally go for. So yeah. Falco's out for blood for this first missile. Uh, he starts shooting it before you even uh, can because it's out of your range. He actually goes off the map to shoot this thing. He's going ham on it. There we go. We took it out. Slippy, you got one. Good job. See, Slippy isn't completely useless. It's just sometimes mostly useless. Brings up the boss's health. By the way, Peppy is objectively the worst member of your team. I was I, gonna say, isn't he like the one that's usually in trouble in all range mode? Uh, he gets more enemies behind him in the game overall than any other character. If you don't count Slippy and Bulse, who will just endlessly get groups of enemies that spawn and show up behind oh, him. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Well, it's not endless. It's like, it, there's a finite number, but it's like a hundred. It's, it's really stupid. Why did I pick that up? That was dumb. Health upgrade. By the way, if you have, uh, like anything to plug again. That was a good time. There's really Yo, like there's nothing going on. So. Slippy heard me. I, won't let you get away from me. I was going to say objectively. Uh, it's true. I saw Lilat with a manager shirt on just with a clipboard and a checklist. He's like just grading off each of the members of the squad. Yes. Oh, that's not a good time oh, to loop no. off the side. I mean, that's fine, but Falco I don't think can kill that missile. He usually goes for either the middle one or the one on the left, so it's okay. Cat here is the one we have to worry about because she has double lasers uh, as opposed to all of our wingmates which have single lasers. So she does twice as much damage and she really goes ham on one of those missiles. Uh, so that's why I want to have 78 points instead of uh, the usual uh, 67 that we'd need on the last set of missiles. You can also try killing Cat. Yeah, you can kill Cat, actually. Uh, the easiest way to do so is to shoot her, um, and uh, she runs into a platform. Uh, 
both Cat and Bill, who's another helper character that you won't see in this run, uh, have a finite amount of health when they show up. So if you shoot them a certain amount, uh, they will, they'll die. The funny thing is, is if you kill Cat, she'll still show up in the ending cutscene, but she's just gone from the stage. It's actually slower to kill her because she does do quite a bit of damage to one of the missiles, so yeah. So right here, last group of missiles. As soon as we take out the last one, the stage is going to end, so we're obviously going to want to do that as quickly as possible. I did a loop there to kind of conserve my uh, distance so that I didn't go off the map. Oh, Falco almost ran Ooh. into me right at the end. He's <laughs> going out for blood. All right. Jeez. Shoutouts to, uh, oh, what was the stage they run into you in? Or maybe I'm thinking of Slippy. Uh, they run into you in every stage. But but Katina is the worst. Uh, if this were a 100% run, we'd have to do Katina on Expert, which is like a big dogfight stage. Um, it's not fun. That's Starring Will Smith. <laughs> it's just terrible. But I'm so glad that we don't have to do that. So yeah, um, this is a very long cutscene. But I guess I could talk a little bit about the end game uh, during this. So uh, the last probably about five minutes of this run are just... <laughs> They're just random. It's it's really difficult and really hard. That's the same thing. <laughs> but but yeah, um, there's there's the boss of the next stage, which is really really terrible. Um, and then there's Star Wolf, which is also really terrible. And then there's Andros, which is like the easiest boss in the game. So yeah, um, I didn't really explain it. I didn't really explain anything, did I? I just said words. Good enough. We're just having fun, dude. Cool. Yeah. This is a let's play. That's, that's fine. It's a nice summary. Yeah. Yeah, nice thesis or something at the end. I was trying to think of a word that sounded more intelligent than summary. So right just to it's be hard to do that this, this early. Yeah. And by so early, I mean midday. Yeah, like 11.40 in the, in the morning. So now we're going to go into the one level in this whole game that actually benefited from uh, Star Fox Zero's rework. Yeah, it's actually really good in the remake. Well, Star Fox Zero. I, I call it a remake. But it's a it's, remake. It's, it's not really a remake, but it kind of is. It's a remake of another remake. It's like a reimagining. Yeah. But uh, Sector Z... Uh, this is... That's the wrong stage. Uh, area, <laughs> area 6. Z. Area 6, we need 300 points, which sounds like a lot. Yo, I got the hit plus 6. Nice. Uh, I'm pretty that's sure that's good. frame perfect Dang. based on uh, how I'm doing this. And you guys never tried stuff. today. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, actually. Um, so, yeah. Uh... This, this stage, we need 300 points, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Oh, I just about ran into Falco there. That was a little sketchy. Um, it's it's really not that hard. I mean, look, he's almost at 150 already. Yeah. He's halfway. Excuse me, almost? Oh, there we go. There we go. Easy peasy. These enemy missiles are very interesting. So if you have wingmates that are dead, I, that last missile that I shot, if that one explodes without you shooting it or despawning it, uh, your wingmates will not come back in Venom. For whatever reason, that's the trigger they picked for it. Um, oh, 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 man. This I was hoping wow, that's run. the worst time that, for that to happen. This entire run, you didn't lose your wings, and then that just randomly happens. That's, that's definitely not the worst time for that to happen, but there's never a good time for that to happen. So, yeah. You get to see what happens when you yeah. run into something. Your, your arming's constantly uh, like descending and to like the side when you have uh, one thing lost. Yeah, this uh, this game works on net vectors when you're uh, when you're moving. For those of you who know anything about uh, I don't know like math and stuff like that. Um, so based off of the like the game thinks that if I'm going a little bit down and a little bit to the right, I'm moving straight. So um, yeah, it's. Basically, by flying straight, I end up going a little bit slower, and we have our wings back. So yeah, uh, I won't be able to get blue lasers, which is a little unfortunate, uh, but it's not a huge deal. Um, there's like a frame perfect bomb that I can throw that I'm gonna go for, but it's not gonna work. Uh, that can spawn nine laser upgrades. It's it's pretty interesting. All right, let's. Okay, I whiff that really, really badly. Uh, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> When it rains, it pours, I guess. That's a thing. I want Area those supplies. Out for blood. Yeah, supplies uh, work oh, interestingly in this game. If you have no lasers, um, so the supplies will always drop uh, lasers. If you have no wings, they'll always drop wings. If you have under half health and no lasers, it'll always drop health. And if you have all of those things, it'll drop bombs. By the way, we 
blew out the score threshold by 85 points in the stage. So yeah, that's a thing. What's the world record for Area 6? Uh, like 700. Jesus. I'm not a score runner. We were so, close to so we need four bombs at this point in the run because uh, we're going to be using three on this boss here uh, to take out all three of those energy ball things right at the same time. Uh, we need to do that three times. I'm also listening for an audio cue in the music there uh, to know when uh, these tentacles are vulnerable. No, dude! Oh, you can get all three of them before the tentacles despawn, well, before he despawns, and then save a cycle, and he won't have to come back. I was hoping for the double one cycle. I failed it. That would have been really impressive with single lasers. Uh, he actually takes the same amount of damage no matter what lasers you have oh, for the mind. tentacles. I it's just harder to aim if you have single lasers, so... So yeah. you see that Lilat's just shooting these missiles down with the lasers? If you use a bomb, it actually extremely lags the game. Yeah, it's it's a little ridiculous. And we don't even have the bombs to spare for it anyways, so... And because I have single lasers now, that means I have to do the next boss on single lasers. So that's going to be a dumpster fire. I'm just going to warn you right now. Uh, it's It never goes well. Dude, I hate this video game. <laughs> Or this boss, rather. I don't hate this video game. This video game's great. But, yeah. Um, if you end up with one tentacle and or left and no bombs, you can actually soft lock on this boss. Oh, here where we he'll, go. He'll go at, oh, yeah, everybody get ready for the rave, all right? I don't have, I don't have glasses. Shoot. Okay, so we're going to get out of the way here. And... <laughs> that was a really was weak rave couch. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, Jack Frost did the best he could. He did pretty well. The rest of you, I don't know. So yeah, remember how I said every strat was mash? All I have to do is mash here. Um, if I have double lasers, that well, double blue lasers, that's a little bit better. Why are you clapping for that? That fight was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> if I have double blue lasers, I can shoot out his core before the second tentacle spawns, and it saves like a ton of time, but I didn't, so whatever. How much of a ton? Uh, it's like five seconds. It's a wow, huge so amount. Much. It's a huge amount of lag. For this game, that's a year. So yeah. Um, so we're coming up to the final stage of the run, Venom. Uh, Venom is hard on on expert mode. Also, we just got like four extra lives. Clearly, we need them. Um, if I'm gonna die anywhere, it's gonna be on this because I, I might have to force a reset of the stage if I lose my wings in this first part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back around this way and we're gonna come here. We're gonna try and shoot out Star Wolf. Now I have single laser, so this is gonna be terrible, but uh, we're just gonna kind of pray and spray. Uh, shot, shot one of them a decent amount. That's, that's something. Uh, he just went right through the base. That's a thing. Uh, so yeah, generally you wanna just shoot them as fast as you can because what they'll generally do is they'll, oh, okay. Nice. Uh, they'll barrel roll a bunch and then uh, they'll be vulnerable for a little bit. But you want to shoot them while they're vulnerable. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's, it probably makes sense. Slippy, what are you doing? Get out of here. Slippy's, Slippy's just friend. Sli yeah, just wants to go on and get the kill Slippy's and send him out of the way. He needs to die. Okay, there we go. We killed Pigma. Pigma's generally the most annoying one. You would think it'd be Wolf because he chases you, but he's really not that bad. Come on, come on, Leon. There we go. Nice. He did. So where you are when you enter this cutscene uh, dictates how long this cutscene is. I was in a very specific location there when I entered it. If you're directly over the hole of the base, you can soft lock the game and you basically just fly around forever. Uh, the fastest path through this tunnel here is going right and then left. I'm gonna go left, right, right so I can pick up two laser upgrades. It's definitely worth it to go for this. Um, it just makes the fight a whole lot easier. You can one cycle Andros in both phases without both the laser upgrades, but it's <laughs> ridiculously hard. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this fight, there's not really anything that's super noteworthy about it, I guess. Um, it's, it's really, really easy. Time is not coming up, by the way. I'll the let you know left. when time is. That, that boss, though, that green background is beautiful. Okay, so we shoot his eye. We shoot his hand. Then we come over here. This boss fight actually gave me nightmares when I was a little kid. Me too. There. I would just reset the game before uh, Andros appeared. Yeah. Th this fight took me like 20 minutes to beat as a kid. And it's it's really funny how how easy it is now. Like, anyone can do this. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's it's actually a pretty easy fight. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to immediately go and loop. We're going to chuck a bomb at his eyes and kill both of them. We're going to shoot him so he teleports away. He came really that close really to sketchy. me there. Uh, he's supposed to appear behind me, but he didn't. That's cool. Cool video game. We're going to shoot him again so he teleports behind. And then uh, we're going to shoot him in the back, and he's dead. So, yeah. Uh, where Andros moves is completely RNG. So, yeah. I got I kind of got RNG'd there a little bit out of a cycle. But, eh, what are you going to do? Reminder that Andros is the original Cold Seal, the head Hedgehog. This is true. Cold Steel is my hero. It's nothing personal, kid. Personally, mine is, insert name here, the Hedgehog. Well, uh, Calithon cannot support uh, looking up Cold Steel, the Hedgehog, on Google. Oh, I, God. As oh, yeah. oh, do not. Don't do it. Do not. To say that you probably should, question mark. Final boss time. Yeah, sure. Final boss time. So the final boss here is you're dead. Um, basically. So he's going to lead you down this pathway. He's going to turn six times. Sometimes he'll try and put the jukes on you. He'll try and, like, fake left and go right. Sometimes he'll go through the walls. Y you never really know what's going to happen. When Ghost Dad's in town... Um, Can so you actually pass him if you go fast enough? Uh, no, you can't. He uh, goes faster than you, no matter what. Um, so time is coming up at the end of this tunnel, uh, just to let you know. Just so, to so even if you, like, go into emulator and crank up your speed... He still I, goes faster? I still, I believe so. I'm not 100% sure Mario on that. Mario Kart 64 rubber banding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's That technology. He's, he's cheating. So, and time is coming up. Time. Hooray, it wasn't a dumpster fire. It was only kind of a dumpster fire. We did it. So, yeah. Uh, what was my time, by the way? Got you at a 34 minutes and 49 seconds. Oh, that was so close. Uh, so the record for this is 34-31. Wow. Uh, that, was, that was pretty good. It's it's not a good record, but it's, I, I don't it's know. It's a record. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's not technically a leaderboard for this, so technically I could lie and say that was a record. But I did curse it when I said it was on pace, so yeah. Um, I would love to let this credit sequence play out. It's way too long, so I'm going to reset the console here, Great. and we are going to kill Slippy. Just assume that the great screen happened. Yes. That's important. Also, kind of funny thing is you can move this logo around. If it'll it'll start moving. There you yeah, go. Fox's neck is just, like, broken. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on there. Well, also, that camera angle is different, I think, if you beat on Expert, right? Yeah, so. this is a different camera angle, and Slippy's just freaking out. So we're going to kill him. Uh, we're going to go into main game here, just on normal difficulty. It doesn't really matter how you do this. So, Kill Slippy is its own separate run. Uh, can we get a timer for this? It'll be like 15 seconds, so basically just be ready on time whenever it, whenever it starts. All right, so this is gonna start in three, two, one, go. So, Kill Slippy, you kill Slippy. That is all you do in this run. It is beautiful, it is magnificent. And we're going to full boost over here. Slippy's going to spawn on the left side of the stage. He's going to do this kind of juke maneuver. And time. Yeah! yeah! He did! World record! Woo! That was not world record. <laughs> world record is 12 point, I want to say, 8, 7 seconds by Skeletal Remains. He is a god at kill Slippy. He grinded this for forever. I, I believe I'm the only one who's ever done a kill Slippy Centurion. But Thank yeah. you all so much for donating for this Yeah, this that category. This is worth it. It's a pretty powerful uh, run there, especially with Marathon safe strats. Yeah, we clearly. A, <laughs> clearly. 14.8. Yeah. You didn't die either, so that's good. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. Thank you all very much for watching Star Fox 64. Once again, I've been Lilat R. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Bash Prime. I might be Gedrith. And that's I Got Bored. And right. yeah, um, shout outs to a few of the Star Fox runners, uh, Patau, uh, off the top of my head, uh, Toko Tomcat, Lennon Free, Scott J. Progan, uh, can't think of anybody else Zallard. off the top of my head. Zallard, yes, Zallard, how did I forget Zallard? You um, even mentioned them earlier. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Um, and yeah, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you later. All right. Thank you very much, Lilat and the Couch, for that amazing run.